Diversity and inclusivity, something that The Sims team are always talking about, something that they're always proud of. And yeah, The Sims 4 is an extremely diverse game, but we can't deny that there is a very, very big gender gap in The Sims 4. So I saw this tweet the other day about all of the cast items in the new wearables pack for The Sims 4. All of the things that you see highlighted in the green boxes are masculine stuff, and all of the other stuff is feminine. To be fair, I think they miss out some things. Like this looks masculine, this looks masculine, these look masculine. I think this person did miss out quite a lot of masculine clove options, but there are no masculine hair options. These all seem to be female hairstyles. And I know some of you are gonna say, style is genderless, you can be who you want, blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, we do live in a gendered world, whether you like it or not, where most people associate certain styles with certain genders and they want to express that. And the fact of the matter is, there is becoming less and less ways to express yourself if you want to have a male sim. The same person posted this chart, I have absolutely no idea if this chart is correct because I haven't bothered to look myself. But based on it, as you can see, there is significantly more feminine versus masculine options in Cass, with apparently a total of 45% favour of feminine style clothing options. Again, I have no idea if this is correct, but it sounds about right. This is something that's not just prevalent coming from EA and The Sims team, but also coming from the community itself. That's right, I am on the capitalist known as The Sims Resource. I literally hate this website with a passion but we're using it to prove a point today. Here we are looking at The Sims 4 clothing. There are 64,000 creations. If we choose a subcategory male, 12,000 of those are male and 55,000 are female. When I say this is a problem, I'm not saying it's a problem coming just from The Sims team. They're all sexist because I don't think they are sexist. I'm literally so sure that The Sims team is a bunch of really, really woke people who are totally obsessed with inclusivity and diversity. And that's why I believe we have a load of weird woke things like the woke rainbow wedding dresses. <laughs> like to justify how much more there is for women's, if we just look at this bar, how thin the bar is, because there's so much to scroll through. And then we look at the men's part and look how wide it is because there's not that much to scroll through. And I have a lot of CC for men that should be bulking this up. And of the men's cast options we do have, a lot of them are basically the same. Like this pet's hair is literally the same thing, but just with a slightly different fade pattern on it, on all of them. So we basically got one, two, three, four, five, six hairstyles are literally the same thing. And some of them, in my opinion, are not masculine hairstyle options, such as the Dua Lipa hair that they randomly added into the game recently. You could argue men can have any kind of hair they want, blah, 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 blah. Yes, they can, but clearly this is meant for female forward slash feminine sims. You cannot deny that. This one as well clearly looks like it is designed for feminine sims. I know men can have long hair. I know, I know, I know. But clearly this is a feminine hairstyle. Like objectively, it looks like it was made for women. This one too, clearly made for female sims and just slapped onto male sims too. There are some instances too where a lot of the cast options actually suit male sims, but they're locked behind the feminine option. Like this one from Paranormal Stuff, I think this mullet's really, really cool. I don't know why they didn't give it a male option because I've seen plenty of men who have this kind of hairstyle. I will give credit where credit is due. I do feel like fashion options for men in the real world are so much more limited to women's. Like if you go into any clothes shop, there's always more women's stuff than men's stuff. In fact, in my local town in the UK we have a really popular fast fashion clothes company called New Look. They actually replaced the men's section recently with just women's shoes and now it's just become a huge women's shoe section and now there's no men's clothes. There definitely is a lack of representation for men in terms of fashion in real life too. One thing I've always loved about The Sims though is that it doesn't take the constraints of the real world and put them in The Sims. They always try their best to make it more inclusive yet they haven't done it with men. Granted like yeah a lot of men will just wear something like a basic t-shirt and we do have quite a few basic t-shirts and stuff here fair play but then for women like we have so many different styles of basically the exact same tank top but just very slightly different in all of them we have a lot of different kind of skirts which are all very similar we have a lot of jeans which are extremely similar we have tons of shorts which are all basically the exact same thing oh apart from apart from this one this one is a little bit different one of the biggest arguments for there not being much male cc is people say well there doesn't need to be because men don't really need to have that many different kind of styles. But then all of these women's stuff are basically the exact same style but slightly different. So that argument is completely invalid because all of these things are the same, just very, very slightly different swatches. In terms of how male cast can be improved, I like to look at CC. I don't have much CC, but I really, really like this one. It's a tucked in t-shirt just like this that kind of overhangs slightly. I don't think we have anything like this in The Sims 4 base game, nor do we have a top that's oversized for men in The Sims 4 
useful yet. We also don't have many things like cardigans with t-shirts underneath, which I think looks really, really cool. And we don't have any big overcoats like this really for men in The Sims 4, nor do we have many turtlenecks. We don't have many jumpers or sweaters. A lot of people say, well, most Simmers don't like playing as male Sims. The Sims has a very big female audience. Most people just want to play with female Sims. According to my YouTube analytics, 70% of you who watch my channel are female and just under 30% are male. One of the reasons why The Sims is so unique is because of its audience. Traditionally, gaming has always been a very male dominated area. The majority of people who play video games are men. That is changing a lot more recently, but it is still mostly men. Whereas in The Sims 4, it's completely switched. It's mostly women, or at least the majority of people who are outspoken in The Sims community are women. There are still male players. Some of them may just not be as outspoken. Some of them may not really care about The Sims enough to say, I want to be in The Sims community on a place like Twitter because they don't really care. They just play the game casually. Those kind of players, I feel like do not get a voice. And yeah, I know it's not really that deep. It's just a video game. Who cares if men have slightly less t-shirts and stuff than women's do and hairstyles? Like I get it. It's not that big of a deal. As it stands, I as a YouTuber have a platform from which I can voice opinions. I do not feel like many people are able to voice their opinions about male sims in the sims community because the majority of people are female in the sims community. The majority of YouTubers and simfluencers are female. Therefore, I don't feel like there is that much male representation, especially straight male representation. I mean, I'm not straight, but I'm halfway there. I'm at least a man. And on top of all this, I think it's really important to consider cause and effect. Is the lack of cast options for male sims an effect of not many men playing a game? Or is it a cause of not many men playing the game? Or is it a little bit of both? I think it's both personally. And I think it's a sentiment that comes from not only the sims team, as I said before, but also sims players. I see so many sims players complaining about how their male sims suck and they never want to make male sims because they always just feel grossed out making male sims. Maybe that's your problem as a simmer. Maybe you're sexist. Who knows? I don't know because I have absolutely no idea who you are watching this. I'm just talking to my camera. That is a question maybe you could ask yourself or maybe not ask yourself if you don't want to look into it that deeply. Regardless of whatever argument you have, it is an objective fact that there are less options for male sims. And if anybody from the sims team is watching this, I hope you change. I also hope CC creators start making more masculine cast options too. For those of you who have not seen my channel before, I'm a very lighthearted, more of a comedy channel. I don't really like to take things that seriously and I'm not taking this issue that seriously either. I don't want to get in a strong debate in the comment section. I honestly hate debating. The last thing I want to do is argue or even have an educated debate with somebody from the other half of the planet online because that doesn't achieve anything. All it does is solidify your stance and solidify my stance and create a gap. I don't want to create any more gaps. I just want to point out something that I think bothers me and I would like to have more options in The Sims 4 to represent myself. And that is all I wanted to say. Bye-bye.